When I was born, I was HIV positive. And when I turned five, I had had symptoms of AIDS. Mm -hmm. I had had fungus in my brain, um, blood infections, mm -hmm. pneumonia. I went cold blue a couple of times. And I, that's when I was about five, they said I was full blown AIDS. And right now I'm doing really good. What's the hardest part for you, Hadia? Mm. Living with this disease? Basically, that's like when your friends die. Mm -hmm. Like. Like? <laughs> that's the hardest part is you at that level. And you always lose a friend to AIDS. Mm. And it's hard, but. And especially, I don't think it's real hard, harder on the parents than on me. And they're friends and stuff, and you love them a lot, and mm -hmm. you get real <laughs> close. Mm -hmm. And it, like, a lot of my friends that have died of AIDS, no one really knows how long anybody's going to live, because I don't um, put myself like, oh, you have AIDS. Or I could go outside and get hit by a bus tomorrow. And you never know. If you stay in your bed and feel sorry for yourself and don't get up with the birds and just sit there and say, well, I'm going to die, why get up and try and make a difference? Mm -hmm. But when you say, well, today's another day. I can get up, I can do something, make something positive. People still recognize me as a little girl from TV with AIDS. It's, it happens at the at the weirdest times, I could be in the airport and someone will say, are you that little girl? And they'll whisper, with AIDS? And I just laugh and I say yes. Since I was on Oprah's show, I have been traveling around the world, spreading awareness about HIV AIDS, prevention, advocating for treatment and care, and really just spreading the message to people about prevention. I was at the height of my career and I'm like 15, and those are my teen years. It's like, those are the years where you're like supposed to mess up and you're supposed to find yourself. And it was like so much pressure to be perfect. And there was a point where I really resented speaking. I resented being public. It became too much. And I dealt with low self-esteem and I dealt with depression. Um, and I really had to find my inner peace. We don't do the why me, why do I have AIDS, why did this happen to me? I've done everything the same. I live like a regular person. I uh, do like, daily activities just like anyone else does. Dating with AIDS, well, there's a guy who I thought I was madly in love with and he couldn't deal with my status and I became a secret like oh we can hang out but at my house or we can go to the movies but across town and so that really played with my psyche it took me a long time to identify that the problem wasn't me it was him i was supposed to live past the age of five i will be 30 in june in five years i plan to have my own community center my own nonprofit organization, maybe married, no kids yet. So I got so much to accomplish. I don't have time for kids. <laughs>